Good morning, Mount Olive friends. We are glad that you're joining us this morning for our Mount Olive Live Facebook devotions that will later be uploaded to YouTube. I know some who have been looking for our devotions on YouTube um, haven't seen some of them this week, but they should be uploaded today. And so we think that we have all of our technical difficulties resolved. And so thankful for those joining us, Mount Olive Live on Facebook, and for those later who will be tuning in to the Mount Olive YouTube. Um, today we're going to ask you to take out your Bibles this morning and turn to James chapter 3. And so if you go to the end of your Bible, you'll see Revelation. Just make a little left-hand turn, and you'll find your way in the book of James, James chapter 3. The thing about the book of James is it is very practical. And so it's a great book of the Bible to study and to put your faith into action because there's a lot of application in the book of James. And in James chapter 3 today, we're going to look at wisdom from above. And so what is wisdom? And for the Greeks, as the New Testament was written in Greek, for the Greeks, they were all about a search for wisdom. And that wisdom was knowledge and understanding. And as that wisdom was knowledge and understanding, it's where we get the word philosophy. You know, that human reason, that human knowledge, and that's what they were all about. But that knowledge and wisdom was from a human perspective. James, writing here, is going to teach us that true wisdom comes from God. It comes from above, not from human wisdom, but godly wisdom. And they are much different. And so some would say wisdom is information and knowledge. And we live in an information age. We can Google and we can search and we can get a lot of information very quickly. Um, but Knowledge is a lot of information. Godly wisdom is applying that wisdom and that knowledge. It's one thing to know it. It's another thing to do it. And what you know, where is it coming from? Is it coming from God or is it coming from the world? And that's a huge distinction for James because true wisdom comes from above. It comes from God, not from the world. Because the world is always going to be self-serving, and it's always going to have a focus of humanness. And that's going to be more personal. What benefits the person? And the Bible is much different than that. So James chapter 3, wisdom from above. And so the first thing we're going to learn here is in verse 13. Who is wise and understanding among you? By his good conduct, let him show his works in the meekness of wisdom. So the first point James makes is that wisdom is practical. It's not just something you know, but it's actually how you live. And are you living a life that shows morals and values from above, from the Lord? And so true wisdom is practical. And it's the opposite of pride and personal, look, it actually comes from the Lord, it says to have a meekness of wisdom. And so there's a humility in it. And so true godly wisdom is practical. It's something we do. It's something we practice. It's how we live our life with good conduct of those morals and values. And it is also humble. And so as a follower of Jesus, we are living out the word of God that is wisdom, that's practical, but we're also doing it with humility. And that's important because we live in a world where humility is not really valued anymore. The world is about self-promotion, self-serving, and it's all about the person where godly wisdom is the opposite of that. He goes on to say in verse 14, but if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast and be false to the truth. And so here we see this self-serving wisdom. You know, this bitter jealousy, this selfish ambition about being about the self. And then he goes on to say, do not boast and be false to the truth. And so true godly wisdom comes from above. It's living out God's word and it's doing it and it's doing it with humility. The opposite 
of the world. And so in our world, we would say wisdom comes from a humanness. And what we're going to see is this unholy trinity that comes from the world. And so we have a sinful nature, sinful desires. We live in a sinful world, and the devil is real. And the wisdom that comes from those things is always going to go against the wisdom of God. And so James is saying true wisdom it's not philosophy, it's not knowledge, it's the Word of God, and it's living it out, and that it comes from above. It goes on to say in verse 15, This is not the wisdom that comes down from above, but is earthly, unspiritual, demonic. And so, godly wisdom, biblical wisdom, it is practical, it is uh, showing humility and living it out in the conduct, and it is spiritual. And spiritual that comes from God comes from above, not the things that come from this world. The spiritual things that come from this world go against God and are demonic, he is saying. Verse 16, for where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there will be disorder in every vile practice. And so here we continue to see James pointing against the self-serving, self-promoting, self-growing wisdom that comes from the world that is actually opposite of God's wisdom. And so this is the world that we will live in, where somebody will try to show you how wise, how intelligent, how smart they are. But if that's coming from a worldly perspective and a human perspective and a self-perspective, the Bible says that's really foolishness, that true godly wisdom, it comes from above, it comes from God, it comes with humility, it comes with living out the word of God and its morals, its values, and its priorities, and that true wisdom comes from above. And we saw that true wisdom come down in Jesus Christ. He's our Lord, he's our Savior, and he is true wisdom. When we look at how he lived his life, what he stood for, and what he was all about, we see true wisdom. And when we look at his preaching and his teaching, people were taken back by it. They said, wow, this one preaches and teaches with such power, authority, and wisdom that he shows that he was true wisdom, and that's wisdom from above, that is Jesus, and that Jesus was the Word of God, and the Word of God made flesh. And then the, also the true wisdom is the Bible. It's the truth. Verse 17, but the wisdom from above is first, pure, peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. And a harvest of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. So let's look at some of these words of godly wisdom that comes from above. First of all, it's pure. It comes from the pure heart and mind of God. God. It is purity, and it's something that's beautiful, peaceable. You know, it seeks peace, and this is a peace from above, a peace from God that surpasses all understanding. It's gentle, it's kind, it's meek, it's humble, and it is open to reason, open to reason and to grow in the Word of God. You know, as we do devotions and we go to church and we get in the Word of God and we go to Bible studies, it's amazing how we continue to learn and grow in that Christian maturity and wisdom walking with Jesus, full of mercy, full of grace, good fruits. And so godly wisdom is practical, it's humble, it's spiritual, and it is also fruitful. It bears good fruits. It's impartial and sincere. A harvest of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. And so that is beautiful. Righteousness flourishes in a climate of spiritual peace. And that spiritual peace is the relationship that we have with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so today, we want to grow, not in human wisdom, but in godly wisdom. And godly wisdom comes from above, and it is counterculture. And so the desire for us, followers of Jesus, is to grow in the wisdom that comes from having our relationship with Jesus 
and his peace that surpasses all understanding. When you do things God's way in the world, the world will see that as foolishness, but we as followers of Jesus know it's wisdom, that it's a better way to live. The world will never understand it. It will always oppose it, but yet we are called to be wise and that that wisdom comes from above and not be fooled by the intelligent or knowledge that comes from the world that will always promote self. When we as followers of Jesus deny ourselves, take up our cross and follow him, for he's the way, the truth, and the life. We bow our heads to pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, continue by the power of your Holy Spirit that lives in us. Help us to grow in wisdom and in maturity as we continue to follow you and you continue to do a work in us and through us to mold us and to shape us to be your followers. Give us wisdom and discernment to continue to practice what is right in your eyes, Lord, and to not fall into the trap and to do those things that we know that are wrong, that go against you and your word. And for those times that we do that, Lord, we are sorry. May your forgiveness, grace abound in our life, and may we learn from it and to turn from it by the power of your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Friends in Christ, have a blessed Friday and a blessed weekend. We'll see you in church on Sunday as we continue with the Minor Prophets and this week, Habakkuk. And so we look forward to worshiping with you and growing with you together as we are a community in Christ Jesus our Lord. Have a blessed day and weekend. Amen.